Welcome to another studio vlog. So I got a really exciting parcel today from our sponsors JSJJ of enamel pins that I'm going to unbox and this is the first time trying a new fresh enamel pin manufacturer so I can't wait to see how they turns out. Super excited because it's been such a long time since getting enamel pins in and if I'm being totally honest I've been wanting to get a new manufacturer for a while because I've noticed that my old manufacturer the designs started to get a little rocky and that's kind of why I just kind of put it off and procrastinated and it's been over a year since we got an enamel pin in and I want to change that because I want to get back on doing collections I want to do like a frog one bear collection where you can collect the pins so I want to expand the pudding collection do him in little outfits and I'm actually thinking of doing like a pin release a month anyway today first of all I need to actually send off for a bunch of stickers for some reason our stock keeping unit kind of messed up and we sold some items that were actually sold out so I'm going to restock a bunch of stickers and then I also need to design some new thank you cards let's get to work shall we to unbox the new enamel pins. I'm really excited to see what they look like. Uh, so let's unbox them and have a look. So I've got these back plated. Oh, they sent me some stickers as well with the Bumblebook design on. So they do vinyl stickers too. They sent me this across. Here they are. So they've wrapped them individually in each bag. Like this wall was so heavy but they've left two out for me to look at so cute <gasps> looks so shiny let's take them out and see <gasps> oh, we've got little heart back stops for them as well look at that back stamp it looks so good with my logo on it i've not done this before and i think this is such a great idea for pin collectors and this it's the front, look how shiny it is, what the heck? Wow, <gasps> look at that quality. So on all my Bumblebutt pins, I have like a little bit of iridescent glitter in. It says, be kind to your mind and it matches uh, my new key rings that I've got. And they sent me some stickers, which we'll open in a second. It's what it looks like. So I've got some screen printing. That detail looks perfect. Look at the cheeks here. It's perfectly screen printed on here. 
Oh wow, the quality is so nice and a little daisy on his head. This is Citrus. Let's open her up. So cute and shiny, what the heck? I can't believe how shiny they are. This is really small. This is a, a one point something inch, I think it is. Wow, it's so cute. Just needs a little polishing off there. And then on the back, yep, I should have my logo. So there's a logo on the back and there's the front. Again, I got a rubber heart backstop and we've got lots of screen printing details on this one. We've got the cheeks, we've got the tail, the ears, and look how intricate the screen printing is. We've also got the paws and it looks perfect. I don't know if you can see, but look at this. While we're here, we might as well open stickers because they do stickers as well. And they sent me a bunch of free Be Kind To Your Mind vinyl stickers. Ooh, they're glossy. Actually, the print quality is exceptional, to be honest. The print quality is nice and crisp. How nice is that? So I'm gonna throw these into the first few orders that order a B enamel pin free of charge. Oh, they've sent me different ones, actually. So some of them are glossy. They've also sent me laminated matte ones as well. I've just realized, so this is a matte one. Personally, I prefer matte stickers i don't know why but i just do so they sent me a glossy one a glossy laminated one and then also a matte one overall i was super impressed with the quality of jsjj pins they are a middleman meaning they work with the factory to produce your pins i've worked with middlemen before for my plush toys and honestly these can be the best for first time buyers because communication tends to be a little smoother and easier i did notice that on a few of my pins for citrus the cat i had some little marks in the cheeks in the screen print nothing too major but these for me would be classed as an a to b grade second personally in my experience i've received seconds with the majority of my pins with all manufacturers I've used but I thought I would let you guys know. One thing I thought was pretty cool was they sent me these super cool 3D models of my designs so you can see what your pin looks like before they manufacture it. This is personally the first time I've ever seen this technology used which is quite rare for a pin manufacturer. Overall I'm going to experiment with different manufacturers and decide which one will be perfect for me going forward but JSJJ will definitely be up there in the running. A huge thank you again to JSJJ for sponsoring this video. If you would like to give them a try, I will leave a link in my description. What I need to do now is I actually need to create a backing card for them. So that's what I'm gonna to get to work on and send them off um, so we can launch them. Cause I'm thinking I'm gonna do these as website exclusive um, launches cause the website is nearly done. We've just run into issue after issue. I think it's because we have nearly 500 items and just dividing them all out has been a nice nightmare to be honest. I need to create a backing card for these and I also need to sit down and create some sort of Halloween-y thank you card um, for the orders because we're running low so let's get our procreate out and design a backing card and some thank you cards. send them off this is what they've turned out like it looks super cute so I'm gonna send these off now
here I managed to finish the thank you cards and it looks very autumnal I've actually decided to try an A6 thank you card rather than the square ones we usually do and this is what they turned out like I'm actually really really happy with them I really like the colours I did bumble butt in a little cute autumn hat and uh, I just thought it was really cute I've been researching into possibly investing into a direct to film printer uh, but it just seems like a lot of effort there's also a direct to garment as well and I don't know if it would be worth the investment or not and then the rest of today I want to design some Halloween stickers and I think I might actually get my crickets out and make sticker packs again because I haven't done sticker packs for the longest time and I was kind of worried about my stickers not being fully waterproof like the I want to buy them in but then I realised that no one has ever complained about my sticker packs and I've sold hundreds so why am I changing it? I think it's just one of those things that you get into your head and you're like oh it's not good enough, it's not good enough because I'm hand making them when really the print quality is actually way better. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to work shall we? Hello, I was just wondering to speak to someone about the DTF printers you've got. Um, yeah, yeah. We currently print with sublimation converted Epson machines, it's nothing special. Um, and I'm looking okay. into getting to DTF printing so we can sell transfers and print our own t shirts and stuff. So I was going to put them across there, but they're. The long time I've had to use my laptop over here and have a pretty good one. Oh, there's a rattle. That doesn't sound healthy, does it? We went to Cash Converters to buy a cheap laptop because we think we're going to invest in a DTF printer. So I have been contemplating this for a while. I want to be able to offer lots of different t-shirts and jumper designs in and kind of make them to order like we do with our mouse mats and our um, coasters and mugs. We make them to order. And I feel like it's better than loads of items. One, it's great for cash flow because buying loads of items with it pre-printed on, um, it ends up sitting, gathering dust on our shelves. Also, it means we can experiment with designs and if it really picks up, then we can outsource them then. Uh, so we are actually starting our uh, DTF, which means direct to film. So we'll print our own films. I've been doing a lot of research on this, rang around uh, a few companies and found a company in Yorkshire who does it will really broaden our horizons when it comes to apparel it means I can turn around designs like that like I can with my mouse mat and mugs the stock on my shelves of blanks and I print them as we go we could maybe even offer personalized things for baby blue yeah that's a new investment that I think we're going to be making and we needed a Windows computer to run it and I just got a really really cheap one for 100 129 pound it has four gigabytes of ram it works perfectly fine it's got windows 10 and this will be what we print the garments on i think the people we found in yorkshire also come here install it and train us on how to use it so that's why i decided to go with them and i'm going to place that order right now good morning guys so today we are going to move the studio around a little bit um I need to change the layout because one, I want to set up my four crickets again so I can start doing sticker, pa uh, sticker packs and we also need a space for the new printer that's going to be arriving. We've set up all the printers. I really wish we had a pastel pink one and a lilac one, but they'd sold out when we bought these. But we're gonna move this desk over here. Uh, so this can be the station where you unpeel them all.
obviously been moving around the studio space and it feels so much bigger it's crazy how optimizing your space can really like change the room so this is how big the room looks now we've got all this area i mean it's a studio so there's cardboard boxes and stuff everywhere it never looks pretty and it still all needs organizing that fell over it needs tidying this is my desk but this is the biggest change behind me i've got this like desk area to work at and my catnip logo and then we've moved the baby blue shipping area over here behind Dean uh, but, and we put this pegboard up but we lost the original Ikea thing so I've actually wedged, I've put it up but wedged cardboard underneath. Uh, so we've got a little baby blue shipping area but also it means it's right next to the cricket and it means we can do all of the sticker making across this back bench. Um, but eventually when we get more stock in we'll probably do rows of shelves so it'll become more like a little mini warehouse but for now we took out the two tables that were kind of over in, the, in this area and moved them around that is it and then last week we did the shipping area over here if you've seen the last vlog this has been a really really cool and cute space to work in that's normally on when the mac's on but we absolutely love it over here it's really nice to ship in i was actually meant to begin designing halloween stuff uh, but to be honest uh, i'll probably do that next week it's currently thursday which is my studio vlog editing day so i'm gonna end the vlog here and i'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye